This, my friends, is the Teton Sports Mountain Ultra Tent. And in this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review, we are putting it to the waterproof test. What do I think? Will this tent leak? I don't think so, but anything is possible. In the past, I reviewed this tent and I gave it a thumbs up. I thought it was a good product. This is the latest version, and there are some differences compared to the older versions. Not only are there some new colors, but the sizing is different. In fact, this tent is two inches shorter and two inches less wide than the previous older version. Not only that, my friends, but this tent is cheaper. I purchased this tent just a few weeks ago for $82 from the Teton Sports website. I got the tent, I set it up one time already, and this tent features the best quality that I have ever seen in a tent for less than maybe $400. There's not a single loose thread with this tent. It absolutely blew my mind. Not only did the price blow my mind, but the quality here is incredible, incredible. Will that translate to a tent that's 100% waterproof? We're about to find out. This is what it looks like as far as the weather goes, everyone. Later on tonight, rain is going to move in and it's going to be a moderate rain event. The latest forecast states that one and a half inches of rain will fall later tonight into tomorrow morning. By tomorrow morning, the rain is supposed to move out. Make sure to comment down below and share your thoughts. Do you think this tent will leak? Again, everyone, $82 right around there. Incredible quality at least as far as appearances go. I took a very close look at this tent and I saw no issues when it comes to the seams, the seam tape, the stitching. It looks perfect. Based upon those observations, I don't think it's going to leak, but let's find out together. Good evening, everyone. As you all can see, it's raining nicely. So far, it's been raining for a few hours. Nothing exceptionally heavy, but it has been coming down. Later on tonight, the heavy stuff is supposed to be here, and that's the interesting test for this tent. With this series, it's all about testing tents in the real world, and this is one of those situations. This is as real as it gets. I do have a few observations about this tent so far. First off, there is some pulling on top, which you can see right there. There's a pretty good amount of water there just sitting. My next observation is in regards to the fly. You can't pull it away from the body completely, and that's on the sides. If you were able to pull the fly away, it would give you more protection and also better airflow inside of this tent. But unfortunately, you can't do that. I just made a big cup of coffee, everyone, so I could stay up, I could watch the weather, await the heavy stuff, and keep an eye on this tent. Good morning. It is roughly 1 a.m. and it has been raining rather heavily. I decided to come up here one last time before I turn in to check on this tent. What I want to do here is actually open it up just a little bit and take a peek inside. My curiosity is getting the best of me, so I want to take a look. Let's see if there's been any leaking with this tent. We'll open this up real quick here, just for a second. So far, it is dry, everyone. Excellent. I took a quick peek inside the tent and I saw no leaking at all. So that's a good start. That's a good start. As I mentioned before, we have some heavy rain on the way. So this tent is not done yet. There's still quite a bit of moisture headed this direction. But so far, so good. I'm impressed, Teton Sports. I'm impressed. Tomorrow, I will show you all the tent in more detail inside and out. Good night for now. I'm going to bed. Good morning, my friends. I'm up here with the Teton Sports Mountain Ultra Tent and it's time to check on it. Did it leak? It rained all night long. In fact, it's still raining. Let's see what happened, everybody. Let's see. Ah! 
Check this out, folks. This tent is 100% dry. I am incredibly impressed. Teton Sports, way to go. This tent is 100% dry. Not a single drip, a single drop. For $82 or $84, whatever I paid for it, I'm shocked. I mean, the quality of this tent is incredible. I was thinking about this last night. This is up there in terms of quality with companies that charge like four or $500. This really is impressive. The level of attention here, at least with the version that I bought, is top notch. It's top notch. Normally in this series, I would move on to a condensation airflow test. I do not need to do that with this tent because I've already done that. The previous version of this tent is virtually the same and you can find all of my results in previous episodes. Everything that I stated in the previous version stands true today. It is so refreshing everyone to see a tent pass the rain test. This is the first time in a long time. Way to go, Teton Sports. I am proud of you all. Look forward to my review coming up in the future. I still have more testing to do with this tent. Did my findings match what you thought was going to happen? Comment down below. You know what, folks? We should all send an email to Teton Sports saying good work because this is impressive. It really is. Just a little encouragement to keep them going, to keep them focusing on quality. Again, make sure to share your thoughts. What do you all think about the Mountain Ultra Tent from Teton Sports? I'm super, super impressed. For now, I'm done. Strength and honor. Bye, folks.